according to the United States Forest Service, there is a forest health emergency on public lands throughout the West. Fires, pests, and disease have created catastrophic conditions on 20 million acres of our national forests. Under the forest health plan, their solution is logging. Following the wildfires of 94, this plan has accelerated. In the name of forest health, the Forest Service is violating environmental laws. Everybody wants me to tell them who I am and all that kind of stuff. I'm Doc Partridge, I've been around these woods for around 35 years. I'm beginning to learn I, I know something, not a whole bunch. But I know enough to know uh, the soil is the principal substrate that we grow everything on. It's a living entity. You come above that, you got all sorts of plants here, each one of them with a function in the ecosystem, but those plants then are, of course, a part of the, the food chain. And unless you can consider the forest in that light, as a series of organisms working together in a food chain that becomes then an ecosystem, you don't know what you're talking about in terms of forest health. Unless you have those fungi and those insects that cause that, quotation marks, disease or insect infestation. You don't have replacement of biomass in the ecosystem. You don't have nitrogen recycling, which is vital to the growth of trees. If we didn't have those in this ecosystem, we would have no tree growth. The same thing is true of spraying for mountain pine beetle and spraying for spruce budworm. These programs have all been failures. We're only considering timber when we apply those management systems. You apply a chemical to a system and you're paying no attention to soil structure, you're paying no attention to, to hydrology, you're paying no attention to birds or uh, anything but that destructive entity, uh, the one that's working on the tree. All right, what we're, we're looking at here is a little diseased seedling, diseased in the, in the sense of it's being killed. And if we dig down in here in a second, I think we'll We'll see the causal fungus showing up. And I'm betting it's Amalaria, which is the one of the major root disease fungi we have in this part of the world. It just sits here waiting until the tree gets weak. Then this fungus shows up, and there it is. Real white fungal material showing that tree was killed by that fungus. Now that fungus is sitting in the soil all the time. He's sitting here worldwide. Not something that comes in. Natural part of ecosystem dynamics, and when that tree gets weak, it takes over and it kills it. Killing it isn't the end of it. That's gonna begin to rot the wood here as it already has, and return that wood nice deep into the soil here, right down in there where it belongs. Making another fine ecosystem for all the little interdependent uh, animals and plants that want to work on it. There you go, an ecosystem in a dead tree. But what's the emergency about? These things are one-time occurrences. If we have a bark beetle outbreak, it may occur over a period of five years and drops. That's the end of it. And almost all the outbreaks I've seen this year have dropped. I can't find any active bark beetles this year or last year. I just looked at a big mountain pine beetle outbreak. The beetles are all dying. Next year, they won't even be there. I can look out through here on the forest and I can see root disease outbreaks. They aren't there. They just don't exist right now. We, we've done a number of studies on these in the last couple of years and we can't find enough active root disease to do research. Emergency nonsense, absolute nonsense. <laughs> job to do, never mind review, never mind the law right now. Got a job to do, we know what to do, the law is in our way. So kiss the law, goodbye, kiss the law, goodbye. Let me 
confess, forget EIS, we got a job to do. Like the mast man, we have a plan, hi-ho timber sail away. Got a job to do, never mind review, never mind the law right now. Got a job to do, we know what to do, the law is in our way. So kiss the law, goodbye, kiss the law, goodbye. Yeah, kiss the law. The thinning I see expounded in television ads and the thinning I see expounded by the Forest Service says we're going to come out and take the merchantable material out and then later on you guys can come in and thin it. All of the emergency programs that we've had over the past, what would I say, 40 or 50 years have been almost utter failures. they're going to either negate or greatly reduce the appeals process. This is taking away your democratic rights. They're gonna say, hey, you have no more right to appeal what we're doing. And that's an integral part of what they mean by salvage in the future. But I think we have to change our management philosophy and stop letting the Forest Service make these tremendous sales. I think we ought to force them to doing what they should do, to serve the American public, starting with the little guy first, and the big guy last. Hey, that's Robin Hood, huh? <laughs> As we speak, they're out in the Payette National Forest in Idaho, marking timber sales on the 94 Burns. But there are some other neat little tricks of the game. With salvage, we're gonna take out dead and dying. Yep, you bet, dead and dying. I'm gonna go probably, cause I'm damn near dead already. I'll be on the first one they salvage, probably. They're doing the same thing in Yak, Montana. There are just as many, well, there are a great many more insects and fungi working in this ecosystem to make it work, as there are those few that cause what you call damage, right? Disease is a normal part of every ecosystem. It's a normal part of you. You grow up through your lifetime going through one disease after another. And at a point in your life, you're gonna die from some disease, no matter what it is. It's a part of nature. Out here, the same thing is happening. You are no more at an emergency than is the forest. If you're not out there watching your backyard, the U.S. Forest Service, well, They'll be out there doing it for you. What makes you so damn important that you can take those trees off and pay no attention to the future in the process of doing it?